I like what you're doing here, Mashima, but don't you think you're going a bit fast just because the movie is almost here? Let's slow down just a bit. The series is back on track with its direction, though perhaps on a fast lane as well. I enjoyed the last couple of chapters more than ever before, and this chapter continues that trend. Though not without a big mixed feelings for one outcome. That aside, this was a pretty good one. Zaref continues to show off why he's there to bring back the excitement of the series. His shifting attitude brings in the sensation of evil that this series was missing for a while. Despite my thoughts on Larkade, I have to say, I generally felt a bit sorry for him. There was no happy ending for him. Pretty ironic if you ask me. It's the sequence that makes it a bit tragic than I expected. Zeroth didn't kill him like a normal scroll of Alice of Father. The way how it was played actually lasted longer than you expected. This whole sequence, when you really tally up, lasted about 3 chapters. So if you ever recollect the entire scene in one setting, watching all of them is pretty dark. The sinister feel from Zeroth is what the series needs to bring out the worst of a villain in terms of writing. He is loose cannon that needs to be put down for good. Other villains just laugh and get beaten, the usual stunt that the series is known for. Zeroth has done a lot to reach to this lowest point, so it only makes the defeat all the more satisfying, so long the writing is on the right course. August's last moment is surprisingly tragic, though there is one problem in which I will save for later. Focusing on the good part, the whole part plays off as August is going for the ultimate self-destruct that also spread out some toxic magic to kill every last one of them. It's like Vegeta against Majin Buu, the final resort. While I wish he'd gone a bit longer, that part was pretty tense, so I didn't mind all that much. The best part, however, is the touching scene of his downfall, Mavis. In my last chapter review, I recalled the moment of August stated that the only way to defeat the sun is his own mother. And what do we have here? Mavis in the flesh that ultimately defeat August. Once he saw his mother in danger, let alone being there, he stops the attack and begins to fade away. What makes it impactful is August just couldn't bring himself to kill the one that gave birth to him. August has always been the son that seeks for parents love. Even though he truly never received one, he loves them enough to not to betray them. It's sadder that before his spirit disappears, his child form calls out for mom, which Mavis never got to see. In the end, Zeref and Mavis may never know that they did have a son, Mashima. Why weren't you here from the beginning of the final arc? The big key point is when Mavis finally unites with Lushi and Grey, but she has a plan. Cue Dorimon's tada because she has the Book of N. That's a big revelation. We may actually see N this time. Well, maybe, but that would certainly drive people's hype sky high. So they may have the main key to defeat Zeref. But perhaps that will fail or it won't happen until Archelugia arrives as well. Natsu vs Zeref is in the cooldown mode as Zeref continues to show how much of a lunatic he has become. Natsu spouts out that happiness is what you make and if he says he has no family, well he's looking at his own brother. It pretty much established that this guy has no point of return but that could change later. Regardless, it serves a point that these two are going to finish this for good. So I'm actually hyped. The presentation is pretty solid. There are more significant moments that are handled well, including the end of Larkade. The sequence with Zero shifting tone is staggering, though intriguing. I like how the sequence went for August's demise. It hits the right note of tragedy since he was close on ending everyone in the field only to let his passion get the best of him. His reactions say it all. That scene with little August is touching. To think they may never know what they once had. If I have to point out one problem, and you can call it nitpick if you like, is that it was anticlimactic. While I like how it went down for August, the timing flew by somewhat quickly. It's like the chapter needs to squeeze the hype of Nasu vs Zero 
so they have to cut short on August fading away. I mean, the transition shift to discussing about defeating Zeroth immediately, it should have been his own chapter, or carefully direct differently to leave a stronger impression. That all said, it's still a good moment that it could have been worse. In the end, this is a pretty good chapter. I thoroughly enjoyed each segment, the harsh scene with Larke, a swell end to August despite his timing or a small misstep execution and a good hype build for Nasu vs Zeroth. I'm not sure if it's trying to end before the movie, but it reached a thrilling point, so I can't complain. I'm giving this chapter an 8. To think I care more about August than Irene, and it's probably because the way how it was cohesive in terms of the writing for his character. Yeah, you could say he still ended in an anticlimactic way, similar to Irene, but unlike hers, from the beginning to the end, everything feels connected and it feels coherent. So I didn't really have that much of a problem on the way how he was defeated, especially the fact that it actually has a lot more tragic feeling than say Urza and Irene, because the aftermath didn't have that much of an impact but in this case, even if the aftermath they don't know they had a son, it still has that sad feeling for August because he has been doing this for a long time. He has been on their watch for a long time and yet no one knows. Zerov didn't know he has a son. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. He doesn't want to acknowledge. Mavis definitely doesn't know she had a son. But what are your thoughts of this chapter? Do you think this pacing is going a bit quick? Because we're actually getting to the last two remaining villains. But then again, we may have N to show up. If he does show up, that is. That said, it feels like we're getting close to the end. And it's just in the nick of time before the movie. I can't be wrong because maybe it just doesn't need the movie to solidify the ending. I don't even know the movie's supposed to be the ending anyway. It is strikingly going fast. But we'll see how the next chapter plays out. That will do it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.